Hello friends, welcome to my channel Instrument Calibration. In this channel, we have uploaded some excellent calibration videos. If you are new on this channel, and you have missed those videos, then you can find links in the description box to watch these videos later. And if you need calibration videos on some specific topics, please let us know in comment box. This video is on Curse Thermal Mass Flow Transmitter. In this video, you will learn what is thermal mass flow meter and how to perform calibration of Kerr's thermal mass flow meter. First of all, let's learn what is thermal mass flow meter. Thermal mass flow meters are designed to accurately monitor and measure dry air, dry gas, and wet gas environments. Thermal mass technology uses dual stings one as a temperature reference, and one as a process flow measurement. And these devices introduce heat into the flow stream, using the concept that stronger flows cause a greater cooling effect. Thermal mass technology can be more reliably accurate when compared against differential pressure, ultrasonic, and Coriolis devices. And it can be much more cost-effective in purchase, installation, or maintenance costs. In this section, I am going to show how to perform calibration of Kerr's thermal mass flow meter. Kerr's thermal mass flow meter can be calibrated internally. In other words, no calibration kit is required for calibration of this device. To access calibration menu, press E button. As you can see from the picture, enter access code screen will appear. Access code is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter this code, and press E button after this. Once you enter access code, main menu screen appears. We need to go into menu scroll option. So, press one button to go into this menu. In menu scroll menu, first option is zero drift. Press E button to initiate zero drift test. As you can see from the picture, once you initiated zero drift test, it will ask your confirmation to start zero drift test. At that time, press E button to start the test. When zero drift test is running, device will show zero drift check is running message on display. As you can see from the picture that, once test is completed, display will show test results in the form of voltage in and voltage out. Now press E button to save this result, and return to test menu. As you can see from the picture that, device will return to test menu. Now press up button at once to go to mid-span drift test option. When you see mid-span drift on screen, press E button to initiate this test. Once you initiated mid-span drift test, it will ask your confirmation before starting the test. Select yes, and press E button to start the test. As you can see from the picture, mid drift check is running message will display on the screen, when test is running. It will take few minutes to complete the test. So, be patient, and wait till test is complete. Once test is complete, display will show results in the form of difference for few seconds, and then it will show readings of voltage in and voltage out. Now press E button to accept result, and go back to test menu. When you see mid span drift option, press up button at once to access full span drift option. When you see full span drift option, press E button at once to initiate this test. Now device will ask your confirmation before starting the test. Select yes, and press E button to start the test. As you can see from the picture that, when test is running, span drift check running message appears on the screen. At this time, be patient, and wait till test is complete. When test is complete, device will show test result in the form of difference for few seconds, and then device will show results in the form of voltage in and voltage out. Now press E button to save the test result, and return to test menu. Once you reach to test menu, press H button at once to return to measurement mode. In other words, when you are done with all three tests, press H button to go back to measurement mode. 
Thank you friends for watching this video. If you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends. And if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on the channel.